Nearly half of HISD's principals are in the hot seat after poor performance reviews and they could lose their jobs. New at 10, one Houston city leader is concerned about how the district is handling the situation. Devin Clark is outside of HISD to explain why some people believe the focus should be more on the teachers in the classrooms. It's a big enough issue right now, but council member Dr. Letitia Plummer is even more concerned about the possible long term effects that losing certified principals could have on our city, say 10 years from now. She believes it's a setup for failure. It's incredibly alarming because I believe the way in which the system is being managed right now is just not going to allow us to be successful. The Houston Independent School District touted that based on performance reviews, 125 principals have demonstrated the leadership qualities necessary to keep their jobs for the next school year. At the same time, 120 others, which is nearly half of all HISD principals, must now show significant improvement to keep their jobs next year. How are principals supposed to do their job when you're hiring teachers that are not equipped to handle a classroom? Houston City Council Member at Large, position for Dr. Letitia Plummer, says the focus should be on those leading the classrooms. Teachers who in Texas don't have to be certified because of a state exemption. So not only are you not certified academically to teach, but you also understand the behavioral challenges that you may deal with with the, with the kids, the social issues that the challenges with the children. Plummer says that includes medical issues such as ADHD and autism that may be diagnosed or undiagnosed. She believes a process to fast track teacher accreditation would help schools performance and increase principal performance, but feels that's not being prioritized. We're just kind of giving them continuing education courses in a way. Right, you know, um, just courses that give them a little bit more support, but not putting them in a situation where they can be accredited. At the end of the day, Plummer believes it's the students who will suffer most and has concerns that we could see an increase in property crimes years later when students grow older and can't get jobs. That's an issue that would affect all of us. She hopes that, if anything, this story will raise awareness within the TEA to review the system and its possible long-term effects. Reporting outside of HISD headquarters, Clark, KPRC2 News.